Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm, we're talking about Marlon Chito Vera versus Davison Figueredo. Marlon Vera, 23 wins, 9 losses, 1 draw. He's 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights, 1-2 and two in his last 3, plus 135 underdog at 31 years old. He's 5-8 with a 70.5-inch reach, fighting Davison Figueredo, who's 20 win, 23 wins, 3 losses, 1 draw, 3-2 and two in his last 3 fights, 2-1 and one in his last 3 well, two and three in his last five fights. Two and one in his last three. Slight favor at minus 160, 36 years old. 5'5 five, five with a 68 inch reach. Two and a half inch reach advantage for Vera with a three inch height advantage also for Vera. This fight, I think, should be a. Um, should be a five round fight. I just think there's too many variables for this fight to, you know, not be. I like Davis and Figueredo. I think he's a little bit more well-rounded. I don't think his striking is as good as Vera's is. I don't think Vera has crazy power, but he does have some snap to his punches and his kicks. But I, I think the speed for Figueredo is good. I think his entries on his takedowns are good. I think his ability to somehow find the back consistently is very, very good. The problem I'm, I, I'm having coming and watching, going back and watching Vera and Figueredo is... Figueredo is relying a lot more on his grappling as of late, and that's not something he, he necessarily didn't do, but it wasn't as much as he has done it lately. His 18 finishes out of his 23 wins, he has 8 finishes in the UFC. He's 12-3-1 in the UFC, which is pretty damn good if you ask me, and he's fought good competition. Besides Cody Garbrandt, he's fought quality, quality competition. You know, Cody Garbrandt is absolute dog water. So, Marlon Vera, he's also fought some great competition. I don't think he's fought anybody as well-rounded as uh, Davis and Figueredo. Sean O'Malley is a great striker. Pedro Munoz, good everywhere. Uh, Corey Sanhagen, boring. <laughs> Dominic Cruz, very good, but old at this point. So, Aldo was able to hold him down, but I don't think Figueredo has that ability. Um, I think he can rack up some control time. Again, the issue I'm coming up on is I think uh, Marlon Vera uh, has a little bit more diverse striking than Davison. And if he can defend a couple takedowns to where Figueredo ha thinks he has to strike with uh, Vera, even though Figgy has power and he is fast, I just think Vera mixes up the striking a little bit better. I think he'll mix in an elbow with a fucking jab. Like, he'll jab to an elbow. I think he'll throw a left hook to an elbow. An elbow to a left hook. Throw front kicks, teeps, leg kicks, a lot of knees. I just think he's going to have a lot to prove in this matchup. And in the style that Figueredo has been fighting as of late, I just think kind of benefits Vera at this point in his career. So I like Marlon Cheeto Vera to win this matchup. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.